What's up, y'all? I'm JB Black, CEO. And welcome to Barbershop Talk TV out here in America. Hey, if you um, representing and celebrating the holiday, hey, happy holidays to you. Tranquilla, Robinson out of Charlotte, North Carolina. I'm here in North Carolina. First Thanksgiving, this sister won't be with us. Tranquilla, my opinion, many folk didn't have alcohol poison. And I'm gonna break this down with our opinion. Why we think that it wasn't alcohol point. Some people gonna say, oh, it wasn't Jack. Cool, relax. We wanna take the time with it. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe, hit like, hit that notification. So when I go live here or drop a video with Barbershop T Talk TV to break this down, you get the notification. All right, the fight. We see winner come out. It was a fight between uh, Shanquilla and this girl, whatever, you know, the girl, the alleged transgender, whatever, whatever. It was a fight between them. And we know, uh, listen to her um, speak, they went and woke up. Now, don't make me drag you out the bed or either went in the room on her and don't make me uh, drag you out the bed. When you see this fight, when was she fully drunk? Because when they went in the room with that young lady, Laying in the bed, if you got alcohol poison, you're not gonna be able to move. You're gonna be like, what is it, Nasrell, that guy that was talking. You're gonna, like he was saying, she couldn't move. She would have been in that state. And I think these young ladies would have been able to drag her off that bed and she would have been noodle. She would have been like noodles, noodle legs. She wouldn't have been able to stand up uh, because she's drunk. Now, if you uh, got alcohol poison, you are very drunk. You are very, very drunk. Roll with me now. So you go in the room and she's already poisoned. You get off the bed. She's able to stand up like that and, and, and not even not fight back, but stand on two legs and stuff, you know? Half of that is because she already has a little frame. And we got safe instances as, as a ledge, uh, maybe transgender guy or just a heavy set lady that's muscular, that slung that girl. And then we know about the winter thing because after the assault, her back and neck was broken. So did she drink after the back and neck uh, was broke? Or was it before the fight when she was asleep? Because when you hear this young lady come out talking about, hey, you know, um, it was a fight. As you seen the audio, my bag, I don't have it. You know, when it was like, yeah, it was a fight uh, where Shanquilla said something wrong. Said she said something wrong. And so we all know that Shaquilla was allegedly drunk and said something wrong. This guy right here behind me, best friend, these two over here. I mean, let me get it right. These two, these three over here, and we got the other brothers at the bottom here. You just can't see them. They had to know. They winded up in a room, and we see the video. Shaquilla, you ain't gonna hit back and all of this. When I look at that, I'm trying to see the poison in there. I'm trying to see the poison. Because one thing I do know is after this uh, alleged attack, this girl back was broke, her neck was broke, she couldn't move. You get it? She, you get it? The nurses and everybody hang. Now she is poisoned after the back broke and the neck broke and all of that. But you mean to tell me we're not po uh, poisoned before the fight? Because if she was poisoned before the fight, I'm, I have uncles, I have aunts, uh, we had neighbors uh, used to drink and wake up, man, they couldn't make it up the sidewalk. My grandmother, go over there and help Mr. Rob. Go in. This guy ain't got poison, but this guy damn near can't even walk. So if this guy to get in a fight, he is done. Damn, so what he, he, he tried to make it home about four o'clock this morning. Damn, he made it to the porch. We live in the projects. We lived in the projects. Help Mr. John on in the house. Grandma say help him in the house. So, laying in the bed, Y'all come in, this girl's already poisoned from the night before drinking. How can a person that's poisoned get up and at least have a balance like that? How can somebody have a balance like that? Get your black out of way. How can you still have balance if you're that drunk before a fight? Okay, now before the fight, hey, when did the alcohol come into her body? That poison part, because you're right, when you're alcohol poison, you're going to later. You're going to be able to move. I got a nursing practitioner in my family. I have a nurse in my family. Matter of fact, we got what? Nursing practitioner, two nurses. And they want to know how in the hell was these <laughs> the problem in Mexico. Mm -hmm. Nasir did say that hell, he had degrees. He said he had degrees, you know? Mm -hmm. He said he ain't got nothing to do with it. But alcohol poison. 
if this girl landed in the bed, when Aquila came in there and said, hey, and we woke up, hey, don't make me drag you out and all of this. Yes, if she was really, really alcohol poisoned, that drunk, you would have had to drag her out. I believe the young lady was tipsy. I ain't gonna say she wasn't drunk. I think she was tipsy enough and drunk when she was tired. But this alcohol poison, no, because I'm seeing her at least not fighting back, but trying to guard during this attack. If that young lady had alcohol poison, I just can't see her standing up there uh, still trying to, she, to me, like we said, she gonna fall probably be early everywhere. A damn they can't move. Listen, alcohol poison. When was she, when did she poison herself? After she was attacked, back broke, neck broke, and she drunk a 40 ounce, and then she drunk a, some Hennessy or something, I don't know. Back broke, hand me the Hennessy. Let me know in the comment section what y'all think. Alcohol poison. Mm. When she was defending herself, it didn't seem like he overdrunk the night before or whatever. The attack, broken back, broken neck, alcohol poison. But when we look at this fight, damn, I just can't see alcohol poison. <sighs> this girl's legs would have been noodles. Like when I said, yo, your girl told her to get up. Don't make me drag you out the bed and all this. You would really have to drag out a bed. This girl was semi-tipsy. You know, little hangover with her. Early in the morning. What time was it y'all went in there? Her legs would have been noodles. I'm sorry. It would have been even noodles. So the alcohol came after the soap. And then she was poisoned. Or was she allegedly poisoned before then? She was already poisoned laying in the bed. Hmm. Just trying to figure out where this alcohol poison came. She wasn't moving. Oh, she alcohol poisoned. Who diagnosed that? How do these people get the diagnosed that? And the Mexican doctors and everybody agree. I don't know, y'all. You might want to let me know in the comment section what you think. I don't know this don't sound good and don't look good but i'm gonna tell you i don't believe it no deal no deal when was the alcohol poisoning in there because like i said here yeah, a person that fight or try to defend yourself and you got alcohol poison how do you defend yourself with alcohol poison barely can stand up a person with alcohol poison can stand up hmm. so a person with alcohol poison can stand up and at least try to Defend yourself. No, even if you don't fight back. Not saying that sister went tipsy, but it wasn't alcohol poisoning. It wasn't alcohol poisoning. Maybe it was. Maybe at the end of the day, they come out, you know what? Okay, let's go back. It was alcohol poisoning, plus she has a uh, broke back or whatever. Break it down. That's what I can figure out and try to understand. The community say no deal, and these guys need to turn their balls in. Turn your balls in. Best friend right here. Eating at the uh, mom's in them house. Go back without mom, daughter, Tranquilla. Alcohol poison. Disappear when the topsy come out. Alcohol poison. The worst thing these people could have did is came out and started going live. That's all the police need. Start going live with this, trying to break it up. That's all the police need. Alcohol poisoning. I just don't understand. If you have alcohol poisoning, how are you able to stand up and fight before your back is broke or neck is broke? If you got alcohol poisoning, how do you stand up before? It just don't sound. It just don't. It don't sound right. How do you stand up with a broken back to get alcohol poisoning? How do you stand up and drink on a broken neck? and get alcohol poison because when you went in the room, I'm gonna say it again. Listen to what when is it? Yo, told her to get up, we're gonna drag out the bed or whatever. That girl was asleep, you waking up. Yeah, you better get up. I'm gonna make you drag out the bed. She was tipsy a little bit. Alcohol poison? I don't know. I don't know. The reports didn't say alcohol poison. The friend said it. But listen, I'm gonna get ready to get up out of here. Let me know what you think in the comment section here at Barbershop TV about Platts and, and Kalia and, and these weird people, man, that let uh, Miss Robinson family down by not bringing their daughter back. So let me know what you think in the comment section here at Black, at, uh, what's that, Barbershop Talk TV out here in America. I'm out.